with the win. The Chargers are in the playoffs. Enjoy Monday Night Football. Bye, Steve. Christmas 2022 is in the books. We are in Indianapolis, Indiana, where, baby, it is cold outside. We're inside for the Colts and Chargers tonight on ESPN. So, Nurse, we're going to step forward. We're going to throw right here. 60 minutes. Watch with the mouth early and often. Dominate on three. Two, two, three. Hey, hear me. Yeah. Fight for your brother. Fight for each other. Because why not? Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. lands in Indy in the middle of a late season playoff push. It's the Bolts and the Colts tonight on Monday Night Football. It is Monday Night Football and there is one of the brightest stars in the NFL, Justin Herbert, in his third season next to his big weapon out of the backfield, Austin Eckler. They're getting set to go and tonight the Chargers take on the Colts and Nick Foles as the carousel has come back around to the former Super Bowl MVP. We get set for football tonight and Michael Pittman downfield will be a favorite target, you have to believe, for Mr. Foles. Welcome to the progressive Monday night kickoff where folks are filing in and we get set to go here this evening. Welcome to the broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Joe Buck, along with the Hall of Famer, Troy Aikman. Let's talk about the Chargers for L.A. Nothing has been easy this season. They've gone through a lot of injuries. I guess what team hasn't? But here they are tonight with a chance with a win. They stamped their ticket for the postseason. Yeah, I think Brandon Staley has this team playing the best football, really, that they've played all season long. And like you said, they've had to overcome a lot of injuries. Some of those guys are coming back. But one of those that has been injured has been the quarterback, Justin Herbert. He's as healthy as he has been and playing some really good football coming off a great win last week against Tennessee. But this game tonight, Joe, I feel that we're going to find out a lot about this team. They've positioned themselves well with two big wins against playoff contending teams. And now they come here to Indianapolis against a Colts team that's really struggled. And we will see just how mature this football team is and being able to handle that. But we'll get a good look at it here tonight. Let's talk about the Colts. They gave up 33 points in what turned into a blowout loss at Dallas. They have the bye week. Then they're up 33 to nothing on the road at Minnesota. They blow that lead. The biggest blown lead in the history of the league. So how do they come back around tonight and take on a team that seems destined for the playoffs? Well, one factor is they change quarterbacks, and that's Nick Foles getting the start here this evening. Yeah, Jeff Saturday is just trying to do whatever he can in order to try to inject a little life into this offense. It has been a struggle, but tonight they've got to try to do it without the centerpiece of this offense and running back Jonathan Taylor, who's out for the season. Nick Foles steps in. And the expectation is, is that he's going to be able to create some big plays down the field. The one thing that the Colts do have is they've got size at wide receiver. They haven't protected particularly well, but they cannot expect to put drives together in 10, 12 play drives. They need bigger plays. And Nick Foles, is one, he's been the guy who's been assigned, you know, that responsibility, at least tonight. Go get him, Nick, and try to get a little bit of time behind this offensive line that has really struggled in 2022. We get set for football as we march our way toward kickoff. It's the end of week 16 on Monday Night Football. I love football. It's about to be fun. It's the most wonderful time. What catch? Yeah. It's the most wonderful time. Touchdown! It's the most Chargers. wonderful time. ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League.
The presents are all open. The sugar cookies are all gone. But that holiday feeling is still in the air. And so is the love for football. And so here's one more gift to lift your spirits because it's better to give than receive. And the Chargers have been giving their fans lots of reasons to believe. Oh, baby! It was a team win in every single way. The Colts are hoping the holidays at home will help make this a night to remember. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. With just the right blend of naughty let it snow. and nice. Welcome back, my boy. Your team will shine in the lights. Touchdown, Colts! We checked our list twice. You deserve one more gift. This one, LA Indy on Monday Night Football. And off we go. Two weeks left after tonight for the regular season around the NFL. By my count, eight of the 14 playoff spots have been filled. A chance to make it team number nine here tonight if the Chargers walk out of here and fly back west with a victory and send Indianapolis to their 10th loss. It's been a frustrating season for the Colts. Justin Herbert. Coming off a weird game. Had another 300-yard day through the air. No touchdown passes, a couple of picks. But he is definitely one of the bright spots in the National Football League. Just 24 years old in his third season. He's been a pro bowler a couple of times and now trying to add playoff quarterback to that impressive resume. Well, they put a lot of pressure on him, there's no doubt. Very little running game, and it's on him each week to go out and throw the ball and move the football team. Coming off two big wins as an organization against the Miami Dolphins and then the Tennessee Titans last week. Chargers won the toss, they deferred, so the Colts get the ball, and that means that Nick Foles will get his start right now with Sam Ellinger, his backup, and Matt Ryan not only isn't the starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts, he's not active. A chance for a return for Dallas Flowers. Had an 89-yarder against the Steelers last time we were here. 